John Hersey, Hiroshima. Dive into the tragic world of Hiroshima by John Hersey, as we follow the stories of six survivors of the infamous atomic bomb attack in 1945. Experience their heartache and triumphs amid unthinkable devastation, as they struggle to make sense of the event and rebuild their lives in the aftermath. Discover the resilience of the human spirit as it grapples with loss, horror, and hope. This gripping narrative will provide valuable insights into a world forever changed by the advent of nuclear weapons, and the indelible impact they have left on human history. Surviving by Chance On August 6, 1945, the lives of six Hiroshima residents were changed forever. Reverend Mr. Kiyoshi Tanimoto was helping a friend move when the atomic bomb dropped. Mrs. Hatsuyo Nakamura had evacuated the city center with her children, and Dr. Masakazu Fuji was sitting on his porch reading the newspaper. Father Wilhelm Kleinsorge was in the mission house, and Miss Tashinki Sasaki was at her desk when the blast hit. Despite the destruction and devastation, all six of them survived by chance, thanks to their exact location and movements at the moment when the bomb detonated. The survivors were buried in debris and trapped under the rubble, but they managed to pull through. The story highlights the unpredictability of life and the role chance can play in our survival. Surviving the Unthinkable Mr. Tanimoto, an eyewitness of the Hiroshima bombing, recounts his harrowing experiences of the aftermath in this haunting tale of tragedy and survival. Mr. Tanimoto was helping a friend move to the edge of the city when the atomic bomb detonated, unleashing destruction and chaos of apocalyptic proportions. In the midst of the devastation, he found an old lady carrying a young boy, both injured and frightened. Mr. Tanimoto led them to an emergency meeting point, a nearby school, where dozens of people had already gathered amidst broken glass and rubble. Despite the danger, Mr. Tanimoto ran towards the city in search of his wife and daughter. Along the way, he encountered survivors fleeing in the opposite direction, their bodies bearing terrible burn marks. As he continued his journey, smoke, dust, and fire filled the once clear sky. By some stroke of luck, he found his wife and daughter unscathed. However, the gravity of the situation left them all in a state of shock barely registering the difficult journey they had just endured. Driven to help, Mr. Tanimoto made his way to Asano Park where a crowd of survivors had gathered. He witnessed firsthand the unspeakable suffering of the victims, some burned beyond recognition, and others trapped beneath the rubble. Despite his own sense of guilt for being comparatively unscathed, he did everything he could to assist those in need. In this chilling account of the Hiroshima bombing, Mr. Tanimoto's bravery and resolve in the face of disaster serve as a reminder of the resilience of the human spirit. Tragic Tales of Survival The story describes the horrific moments of the Hiroshima bombing and how the affected struggled to survive the aftermath. The summary revolves around the accounts of six individuals, Maiko, Father Kleinsorge, Mr. Fukai, Dr. Fuji, Dr. Sasaki, and Miss Sasaki who were faced with different challenges. The Hiroshima bombing was an event that will forever remain engraved in the world's history. This book summary chronicles the story of six individuals caught up in the catastrophic event. Maiko, Mrs. Nakamura's daughter, set out to find refuge at Asano Park after stumbling upon her dead neighbor while fleeing with her children. She met Father Kleinsorge, a German Jesuit, who was running to deposit cash in an air raid shelter before returning to the mission to help his wounded colleague. Dr. Fuji found himself trapped in the river for 20 minutes after the bombing, but he fought his way out after realizing that the tide was approaching. Despite his immense pain, he helped those nearby before embarking on a long journey to his family's house outside the city. Dr. Sasaki, assigned to the hospital, treated the injured tirelessly for 19 hours with no breaks. Miss Sasaki was buried under rubble, unable to move and waited with two other dying individuals for two days until rescue came. The book summary describes the horrifying aftermath of the bombing, with almost a hundred thousand people dead, and just as many injured. 
The individual's accounts highlight the devastation caused by war between the inhumane horror of the Hiroshima bombing, the struggle for survival, and the spirit of solidarity. Survival in the Aftermath Mr. Tanimoto and his fellow survivors find ways to cope with the aftermath of the atomic bomb, from ferrying the injured to scavenging for food and water. As the first evening approached after the bombing of Nagasaki, Mr. Tanimoto, Father Kleinsorge, and the Nakamura family sought refuge in Asano Park. Though a hospital ship was promised, it never arrived. Mr. Tanimoto, realizing that the park was not safe enough for the worst injured, brought a small boat over to ferry the least mobile individuals to a safer spot on the other side of the river. But even this brave action became more chaotic as a whirlwind appeared. The next morning, Mr. Tanimoto discovered that the tide had taken away the bodies he had brought to the other side of the river. Meanwhile, Father Kleinsorge and Mr. Tanimoto searched for food, finding that the heat of the bomb had roasted the pumpkins in the garden. Later, Mr. Tanimoto returned to his work of ferrying the injured to safety. Despite their desperate situation, there were small moments of hope. Miss Sasaki was eventually rescued by friends, and was taken to a military hospital. Dr. Sasaki worked tirelessly at a nearby hospital, but eventually took a break to rest after walking to the suburbs to call his mother and let her know he was alive. As these brave survivors struggled to stay alive and help each other in the aftermath of the atomic bomb, they faced yet another tragedy as a second bomb dropped on Nagasaki. Surviving Hiroshima In the aftermath of the atomic bomb, the people of Hiroshima struggled to understand what had happened while trying to survive amongst the wreckage of the city. Rumors spread about the cause of the explosion, but only a team of physicists understood the real situation. Despite the devastation, individuals like Father Kleinsorge, Mr. Tanimoto, Dr. Sasaki, and Miss Sasaki continued to help others and persevere through their injuries. Nine days after the blast, Emperor Hirohito's radio announcement marked the end of the war. Hiroshima's Weedy Aftermath Devastation, radiation sickness and Father Kleinsorge's response after the dropping of the atomic bomb on Hiroshima. On September 9, Miss Sasaki is taken to the Red Cross Hospital, where she can finally see the devastation that the atomic bomb had wrought on Hiroshima. Despite the horrific destruction, she is surprised to see a vibrant covering of greens, weeds that had gone into overdrive due to the bomb's stimulation. As Miss Sasaki becomes the patient of Dr. Sasaki, her health is passable, but she has several small hemorrhages all over her skin. Likewise, Father Kleinsorge and Mrs. Nakamura also experienced unusual symptoms due to the bomb's radiation sickness. Over time, scientists studied the bomb's effects and deduced that the explosion's heat would have reached 6,000 degrees Celsius, killing more than 100,000 people from various injuries and radiation sickness. Father Kleinsorge, a holy man, offers what little comfort he can to individuals in the hospitals, including non-Christians like Miss Sasaki, who question how a loving God could allow such devastation. Father Kleinsorge replied that the bomb's effects were not God's work, but of man's sin and fallen grace. Surviving the Bomb, The Stories of the Hibakusha Six survivors of the Hiroshima bombing rebuild their lives in different ways, facing wariness, illness, and unexpected appearances. Six survivors of the Hiroshima bombing led vastly different lives after the devastation. As Hibakusha, or survivors of the bomb, they initially faced wariness from their compatriots. State support was slow to arrive, but these six eventually rebuilt their lives, albeit in different ways. Miss Sasaki converted to Christianity, became a nun, and found her greatest strength in caring for the dying. Father Kleinsorge suffered from ill health but continued his selfless work and became a Japanese citizen before passing away. Dr. Sasaki's spared life led him to considerable success and wealth, while Dr. Fuji immediately set up a new medical practice and raised a family of five in his field. Mr. Tanimoto became a spokesperson for the Hibakusha and maintained a frenetic workload but faced insensitivity in the form of an out-of-control guest when he appeared on This Is Your Life. Mrs. Nakamura retrieved her damaged sewing machine, repaired it, and made a living for her family through odd jobs before finding work at a mothball company where she stayed for years. 
Despite being entitled to more benefits, she took an accepting attitude, saying, it can't be helped. Through these survivor stories, we see the varied ways in which individuals can face hardship, survival, and rebuilding in the aftermath of an unimaginable tragedy. As we reach the end of our journey through Hiroshima, we witness the long-term effects of the atomic bomb on the lives of the six survivors and the city they called home. Despite unbearable suffering and heartache, they find ways to move forward and rebuild their lives. Forever marked by the tragic events of that fateful day in August 1945. Each of them faces unique challenges, but collectively they represent the resilience and courage of humanity in the face of unfathomable destruction. We learn that amidst tragedy, hope can still be found, and life carries on, despite the lingering shadows of the past.